Good morning Year 7 and welcome to today's maths lesson. Let's start off with a quick starter. Can you please work out 156.01 plus 76.09? Can you then expand the bracket 3 lots of 6x take away 7? And answer my question, if 3 fifths of a number is 162, work out that number. I've drawn you a little diagram that you might be able to use to help you. Please pause the video for a minute or two and in your light blue books answer these questions now. OK, let's go through the answers. So if I'm adding 156.01 plus 76.09, making sure I line up my columns correctly, I've then got 1 plus 9 gives me 10, 0 plus 0 plus 1 gives me 1, 6 plus 6 gives me 12, 7 plus 1 gives me 8, plus 5 gives me 13, and 1 plus 1 gives me 2. Expanding this bracket, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw out the grid. I put the 3 on the outside and the 6x take away 7 along the top. 3 times 6x gives me what, Freya? 18x, lovely. 3 times negative 7 gives me what, Ben? Negative 21. So altogether we've got 18x subtract 21. And finally, I said 3 fifths of a number is 162. Work out that number. I'm going to use the diagram I've drawn to help me out. So I split my diagram into 5 because I've got fifths. And I know that 3 of those fifths are worth 162. Let's work out what 1 of those fifths is therefore going to be worth. I need to divide 162 by 3 which will give me 54. Lovely. So each of these parts is worth 54. I then want to work out what the whole number is. So to do that, I want to do 54 multiplied by 5. 4 times 5 gives me 20. 5 times 5 gives me 25 plus d. 27. So my whole number is 270. Let's get into today's lesson. Here's our lesson destination for today. I want you to be able to solve at least the first question, if not the second question as well. Quick recap. Solving equations with brackets. Your first thing you want to do when you see an equation like this and it's got a bracket in it is to follow your instinct and expand that bracket. So I need to put x plus 3 along the top and 2 on the side. 2 times x would give me 2x. 2 times 3 gives me positive 6. So now I've got 2x plus 6 equals 16. And this looks just like all the other equations we've been solving so far. I want to subtract 6 from both sides, which gives me 2x equals 10, therefore x, if I divide by 2, x is going to be equal to what, Izzy? 5, lovely, x is equal to 5. In exactly the same way, I've got x take away 3 this time, I'm still going to expand my bracket, 2 times x gives me 2x, 2 times negative 3 gives me what, Lily? Negative 6, lovely. So I've now got that 2x take away 6 equals 16. This time I want to get rid of that subtract 6, so I'm going to add 6 to both sides, which leaves me with 2x equals 22. My final step, I'm going to divide by 2 which will give me x is equal to 11. In your light blue books, can you please write this one for me? 5x plus 1 equals 15. Expand that bracket and solve it for me. Pause the video for a minute and work it out. OK, hopefully we'll have worked out that 5x plus 5, expanding that bracket, equals 15. 
If I subtract 5 from both sides, I've got 5x equals 10, which gives me that x is equal to 2. Like blue books, how about now? What's changed? Pause the video. Have a think. Okay, let's go through it. I've now got 5x plus 5, that stayed the same, equals negative 15. I now need to subtract 5 from both sides, which gives me that 5x is equal to negative 20. And if I divide both sides by 5, this leaves me with x is equal to negative 4. Okay, light blue books. How about now? Pause the video, have a think. Okay, now we've got 5x, take away 5, equals 15. We need to add 5 to both sides this time, which leaves us with 5x equals 20. And dividing by 5, leaves us with x is equal to 4. Okay, year 7, how about now? Pause the video, have a think about this one. Let's go through it. We've got 5x, take away 5, equals negative 15 this time. We're going to add 5 to both sides. Which leaves me with 5x equals negative 10. Dividing both sides by 5 tells me that x is equal to negative 2. Okay, year 7, how about now? What's changed? Let's go through it. We've now got 5x take away 10 equals 15. I want to add 10 to both sides. Here we go. So I'm left with 5x equals 25. I then need to divide both sides by 5, which leaves me with x is equal to 5. OK, year 7. And you like blue books. How about now? What's changed? Okay, this time we've got 10x, take away 10, equals 20. If I add 10 to both sides, this tells me that 10x is equal to 30. I then want to divide both sides by 10, which tells me that x is equal to 3. White blue books, how about now? What's changed? We've got 10x, take away 4, equals 16. Add 4 to both sides. 10x equals 20. And then if I divide both sides by 10, to get x on its own, got that x is equal to 2. Okay, year 7, please pause the video and in your light blue books, please complete the left questions on the left-hand side. As an extension, please complete the questions on the right-hand side. This should take you about 10 minutes. Pause the video now. Okay, year 7, here are the answers. Please check your work and see how you did. Okay, year seven, please pause the video and see if you can solve this equation for me, remembering to expand that bracket first. Is it A, is it B, is it C, is it D? Pause the video for a minute or two and work it out for me. Okay, year seven, cards in the air. Is it A, is it B, is it C, is it D? All vote now. Looks great, year seven. Awesome. Let's expand that bracket first off. I've got negative three. And on the top, 
This time I've got a take away 21. So I now know that negative 3a, negative 3 times negative 21 gives me plus 63, equals 12. I'm then going to rewrite it at the bottom so we can see it a little bit clearer. I don't like having a negative lot of a, that's a nightmare. Let's add 3a to both sides to get rid of that. So I now know that 63 equals 12 plus 3a. Let's subtract 12 from both sides, which tells me 51 equals 3a. And then if I divide by 3, I should get that a is equal to what, Dijan? 17, lovely. So I was looking for B. Okay, dark blue books out. Can I have the title Solving Two-Step Equations with Brackets? When you've got that title, pens down and watching me for an example. Okay, you know how this works. I'm going to do an example and then you're going to do an example. I'm going to start by expanding this bracket out. I've got two lots of x plus 1 equals x plus 5. Draw my grids. Two lots of x gives me 2x. Two lots of plus 1 gives me plus 2. So I know that 2x plus 2 equals x plus 5. This looks remarkably similar to the questions we were doing last lesson. I want to get rid of the x on one of the sides of this equation. Which side am I going to pick? Am I going to pick the left-hand side to get rid of it or the right-hand side? Jake, help me out. Which one am I going to get rid of it on? The right-hand side, exactly. There's fewer x's on this side, so I want to get rid of that x. Let's subtract x on both sides. That gives me x plus 2 is equal to 5. I then want x on its own, so I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides, which will leave me with x is equal to 3. In your dark blue books, please pause the video for a minute or two and have a go at this question for me. Okay, let's work out the answer. Again, I want to expand that bracket first off. I've got x plus 1 along the top. 3 on the side. 3 times x gives me 3x. 3 times 1 gives me 3. That's a positive. So I know that 3x plus 3 equals x plus 5. Other Jake. Which side am I going to eliminate x from? Am I going to choose this side with x plus 5 or 3x plus 3? Thanks, Jake. I want to get rid of this x here. So I'm going to subtract x from both sides, which will leave me with 2x plus 3 is equal to 5. I'm then going to solve it in the standard way by taking 3 away from both sides. 2x equals 2. And then dividing by 2 tells me x is equal to 1. Okay, Year 7, please pause the video and have a go at these questions for me. This should take about 5 to 10 minutes in your light blue book. Okay, let's go through some answers. I've got 2x plus 6 equals x plus 8. So the first one, I should have got that x is equal to 2. For the second one, I've got 2x plus 6 equals 8 plus x is exactly the same. x is still equal to 2. For the next one, I've got 2x take away 6 equals 8 plus x. So that's going to tell me I need to add 6 this time, which will give me 14, so x is equal to 7. So I've got 2, 2, and 7. For the next one, I've got 3x take away 6 equals 8 plus x. So this time, I know that 3x 
take away. Sorry, I've got it completely wrong. Ignore me, ignore me. This one I've got x is equal to 14. Sorry about that. This one I've got 2x equals 14. So for this one, x is equal to 7. Sorry, a 7. And finally, this one is exactly the same as the one before. x is equal to 7. So for the first one, I've got x is equal to t. The second one, x is equal to t. The third one, x is equal to 14. The fourth one, x is equal to 7. And the fifth one, x is equal to 7. In your light blue books, can you please now pause the video and have a go at questions 6 to 10 for me? Do that now. This should take about 10 minutes. Okay, let's go through the answers. This time I've got 4x plus 6 equals 2x plus 8. So this tells me that x is going to be equal to 1. For the next one, I've got 6x plus 4 equals 2x plus 12. So this tells me that x is going to be equal to t. This one, I've got 6x take away 4 is equal to 2x plus 16. So this tells me that x is going to be equal to 5. For the next one, I've got 9x take away 6 is equal to 2x plus 22. So this time, x is going to be equal to 4. And finally, I've got 9x take away 15 equals 4x plus 10. So this time, x is going to be equal to 5. Please mark your work and see how you did. And finally, for today's lesson, can you please pause the video for a couple of minutes and in your light blue books, solve these two questions for me. Okay, let's go through the answers. I've got 4x plus 20 equals 15. Taking away 20 from both sides tells me 4x is equal to negative 5. So for the first one, you should have got x is equal to negative 5 over 4. And for the second one, I've got 4x take away 20 equals x plus 7. Adding 20 to both sides and subtracting x leaves me with 3x equals 27, which tells me x is equal to 9. That's all for today, folks. Can you please now complete the exit ticket I've posted on Google Classroom? Have a lovely day. Thank you very much.